Hello, Allison here, and in today's file maker tutorial, we are going to learn how to sort by a month and year and have it show up as an on-screen report. You could also apply the lessons that we learn here to a printed report. And essentially, uh, just to give you an idea, we are looking at a list of orders here and you'll notice that it's uh, grouped by month and year. So we've got December 2017 here, and it's accurately displaying uh, the month and year, and we move on to January, and then scroll on to, oops, sorry, February, etc. So let's get started learning how to do that. So going back to the top, um, I wanted to just orient us a bit behind the scenes. So if we go into layout mode and we notice we have a field month and year here and we have an order date field here and we have a subsummary. A subsummary is a type of part, uh, a layout part in FileMaker where we can uh, group information together and this is where we put summary fields that are doing things like counting and totaling and you will see that in this part I also have uh, a count field and uh, an average sale field and a total field uh, for uh, what I'm sorting on which in this case is the month and year. So uh, let's go into uh, Manage Database and just I'm going to scroll quickly to the bottom and take a look at the calculation. So the calculation that I created to um, group all of the orders for the month in a single month is a bit of a hack. Uh, but it's worked for me for, for a long time, and so I stick with it. I use the date function, and I'll go ahead and just underneath that, type the date function so you can see what that looks like. So the date function takes uh, the month, day, and year. So if I were to put in uh, 3, 16, 2018, 3 here, 16, 2018 in the year, that would return um, March 16th, uh, 2018. And so I'm using that function in combination with uh, the month function, which the month function returns the uh, numeric or the numeral uh, for the month. So for example, uh, January would return one, uh, December 12, etc. And then uh, the year function. So putting this all together, we have uh, the month of the date. So let's say our order is uh, March 16th, 2018. So this uh, will result in uh, three here, and then I'm grouping all of them into the first of the month, and then the year. So every March order, this will return uh, 3 1 2018. So all of my March orders will have the same uh, date. And so now I've just grouped them all into a month so I can sort by a single field uh, in that subsummary part. So that's my month year and that's everything that's going on behind the scenes. So now when I exit layout, oh I didn't tell the truth entirely. There's one other thing that is uh, the trick to all of this and I will show you by bringing over the inspector um, So on the month year in terms of displaying I should say so on the month year I go into the uh, the section for the data and Down here in data formatting uh, There is the number format the date format time and graphic we're interested in the date so I am going to change this back to as entered and then I'm going to exit layout and you'll see the results of our calculation, right? 2-1-2018 and 1-1-2018. So 
our end result is looking exactly like we might have expected it to, uh, except it's not displaying very nicely in terms of a presentation. We'd much rather see the month name and the year. Uh, so going back into layout, I'm going to click on that field and go back to data formatting and where it says format as enter, I'm going to choose custom. And I've already set it up, but I'll go through it. So uh, I've chosen the month as the full name in the first slot. And uh, I added a space in the section right there where I could add a slash or a dash. I added a space. And then I chose the year and I chose the fully, um, you know, the four, four digit year. And then I got rid of the extra space there. And originally this had, um, you know, like the month name and then the day, right? I switched it from the day to the year, got rid of any of the symbols over here. And then here I just selected none because that's everything I need. And I made sure that these little boxes also had nothing in them so that it will format it to be the month and year. And so with that in place, I exit layout. And we are back to having the um, month and year show. And I will go ahead and uh, choose the shortcut for sort, which is Command or Control S. And uh, when I sorted by month, year, so if I unsort, now we don't see that part anymore. There's no um, breakout at all. The only way that the subsummary parts show up on screen is if you sort or or in print. Uh, so if I were to um, go ahead and uh, choose format, oh, excuse me, records, sort records, and then sort by month year, and go to the top, we again have our breakout by month and by year, and it is displaying nicely as well with the month and year. So that is our FileMaker tutorial for today on creating a monthly report and having it display nicely and neatly grouping um, all of uh, individual dates into a single month. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, if you could give it a thumbs up, and if you would like to see more videos like this, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.